All right, next here we're going to install our camshaft and what I've done is I've temporarily installed the new cam gear with one bolt and I didn't tighten it, I tightened it by hand. So we have a way to hold onto this camshaft while we're installing it. That will prevent banging it around and to damaging it. And also I've put some assembly lube on all the journals around here. and It's a good idea to get some good assembly lube. And Most of your cam kits will come with lube to put on it and just put it all around each lobe. That way you don't run it dry. That first startup is real important to not run it dry. So just make sure that you have your lube on here. And remember, we put uh, some grease on all of our cam journals inside there before we started building this engine. So we got that part taken care of. All right, anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold it with one finger in the middle and by the cam gear here and just kind of align it in. Try to see what's straight. And just slowly slide it in, one bearing at a time, very gently. And I always recommend using brand new camshafts. Regrind cams aren't really the best thing. They are a little cheaper, but they don't last as long. And we get one more journal to go, and we'll be in there. There it is. Okay. So you shouldn't have to fight it in. It should go right in. And I'm going to spin it here line up my timing marks. Alright, and as you can see our timing marks are lined up straight up. One there and one there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the cam gear, put the timing chain on, and we'll put it back on and tighten everything up. And that part will be taken care of. Just you got to make sure you line up your dots there, especially on your Chevy. Simple as that. Well, now that we got everything lined up, what we're going to do is install our timing chain. Here's the timing chain. We take off our one temporary bolt and just slide the gear right off the cam. As long as you don't spin and rotate the cam, you're going to be fine. It's going to go right on. So we'll hook that up. Get your links all lined up straight. I usually like to hang the gear like this so your timing mark straight up and just line it up with your other gear and if you did it right it's going to go right on your cam gear just like so simple as that so the next thing I like to do is we're always going to use the, the Loctite on all these little bolts just a little drop on each thread will be fine just like that These are very important bolts and you don't dare want these to fall off either. This will ruin your whole engine. It doesn't happen often, but this stuff doesn't cost much. It's well worth the extra insurance. So we got those started. And again, you want to tighten these equally a little bit at a time because they're going to have to go on straight. Okay, those are all snug, and what I like, how I do it is I put them snug, and then maybe another eighth a turn. Not very big bolts, and they'll be easy to break, so 